Die Hard, um, two uh, laser disc, uh, widescreen, uh, leather box, uh, scope, uh, first edition. Cover. Okay, next video I'll put on the next uh, laser disc that will be the THX laser disc. Okay, this is the THX laser disc pressing. Yeah, the color, the color tone on it has been um, has been altered slightly. So this will be a later pressing or whatever, you know. This is Amy Nicole reporting live from Escalon Air. So put the uh, the first edition of this back on. To be frank, I think this is the correct colour time. I mean, I mean for the white snow to be a little bit tinted warmer colour. Um, I think a little bit of the uh, what's it could be adjusted on this. Uh, <clears throat> and, yeah, where is it? Uh, some of the colour tone or skin tone sort of thing kind of looked a bit so I'm just uh, just evaluating yeah, I'll go to another chapter uh, oh, I don't know I think it looks ok but, uh, let's just have a look at this this chapter Yeah, I can see these things moving along the conveyor belt. Uh, what I noticed on the uh, the THX laser disc, it had a kind of like um, oh gosh, like a, a strange image that a sort of like something that was very sort of superimposed. As as it a blur a, a blur a like a blur effect a sort of thing um, I don't know what the actual term would be for but it's sort of like had a sort of weird strange like like a, if something like an object's moving really fast and it just leaves like a and you got the camera set at a certain speed setting frame rate and it kind of leaves a blur effect uh, like particularly if it were um, uh, lights or something and it leaves a like a comet tail sort of effect sort of thing um, uh, what else uh, might be different about it yeah that sort of warm colour there and sort of thing um, I think the chapters are a little bit different And the chapters are a little bit different.
Yeah, the chapters are a little bit different because there are a little bit more chapters on the other laser disc. Give it a softer. That's what that does, that feature. It kind of gives it a soft image sort of thing. And something like that. I don't, I don't really use that that often. Um, that just makes it a little bit darker, gives it a darker tone. Um, well, these, these, this colour here, that's sort of good. Uh, let's have a look. I can see it, I can see it. Uh, that's going too far. And I can see it kind of getting kind of uh, a bit, kind of a bit out. Of, uh, it's getting a bit kind of problematic when it goes a little bit too, too high. Too low. Uh, situation here. AP action. say so you are some piece of work thank you major you're not so bad yourself Congratulations there's case. also no visible um, edge enhancement that i can see on the transfer um i think there's a little bit of edge enhancement on the uh, region 2 dvd what's the 747 uh, wide shot look like Let's have a look. 
Oh, um, well, hang on, let's have a look. I'm going to see right to the tip of the, the um, I'm going to see right to the tip of the air, uh, the wings here, right to the tip, and right to the tip over this side, plus a little bit more picture information. Actually, um, hang on, I'm just trying to, you know, not jump the gun too much, so I can see the tip of the wings at right at the uh, the edge. Uh, I can see a light right up here, and looking at the scenery over this side, and looking at the light, um, uh, just just on the edge here, just on the edge. Um, okay. Okay, let's put the CHX back in and look at that. Well, that's the THX laser disc, and um, I think the wing, the width of the, uh, the 747 there, as well as the aspect, uh, the vertical just seems a little bit, uh, a little bit less. And the other one, it seems a little bit uh, reduced down in the vertical slightly. Um, yeah, there is a difference there in the aspect ratio, as well as the colour tone. Um, colour tone's not quite showing up the same way on the camera here because I've got to readjust the um, the settings to so make it not so exaggerated. But draw your own conclusion. Um, I think the um, the other pressing looks more, a bit more how much more how I, I last saw it at the cinema. Um, I think a double, I think it was a quadruple bill of Die Hard and Predator uh, at, at one local cinema for a uh, night time. Um, all Predator 1 and 2 and Die Hard 1 and 2. Um, that was, oh gosh, mid 90s, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, as well as this version just looks a little bit laser disc clear. Um, usually, white things such as lights above, um, usually, they have a sort of typical. Um, a sort of typical problem sort of thing. Uh, most would know what I mean. Uh, that own lines of this, but yeah, this aspect ratio is um, proportionally a little bit more for your money worth. Um, and uh, the 4K, or was it the Blu-ray, whichever I think I can't remember which. I think it's the Blu-ray. Again, you got that that horrible colour tint, that horrible warm colour effect, and um, you know, like someone's turned on the uh, the warm colour effect on the freaking uh, what's it? So there and you turn on that warm colour effect. Oh, yuck! That looks horrible. Um, I'll just keep it medium, whichever you know, uh, because the other versions, you know, they just got that warm colour, total warm colour effect, and it looks totally horrible. As well as the aspect ratio is a little bit um, because. What they're doing there, I think, is um, oh, did I make a note at the top of the lights? You know, because um, I think it's what they do. The, the digital black mark uh, masking is artificial. The um, so I think what they're doing there is zooming in. You know, like you zoom in, so it's like uh, if I have my camera set in there. So it shows the uh, whip, and if I zoom in, 
just a portion like that it's like you know it's like getting the the image zoomed in a little bit more but you're cropping off the left and right side and that's what a lot of video transfers are doing on these rubbish 4k discs these rubbish blu-rays oh even the rubbish hdvd um crikey there's a few movies there that are like i think it was carlito's way hdvd and the aspect ratio zoomed in so much like that you're totally missing off a lot of the um the flipping uh width for the flipping the uh, the scope fucking daylight robbery that hdvd format every time they have a a high definition format they, they seem to do a little scamming and but i think the uh, region 2 dvd shows a little bit more width but i think just a fraction tiny fraction of millimeters you know if it were on a 65 inch or if it video projected you know you're, you're looking at you're looking at millimeters you know ten, tens and tens of more millimeters um, I have to say this one is by far the better. see a little bit of Mori, Mori uh, rainbow kind of trying to slip in here slightly in these end credits there. Um, I've seen other transfers where it's pretty, you know, usually pretty chronic and um, all you see is a rainbow effect and um, of course you wouldn't see that on 35mm. Um, it would be just um, pure black background and uh, white text uh, credits with a bright xenon lamp in the lamp house putting it up projecting it up onto the big screen so it's not too bad this transfer probably got one of those um, color uh, What's it flipping things on the end? And usually those card test card, they don't, they don't, they're not perfect. They got, they got their snags. Oh, yeah, I can see a little bit of Mori. Just a little bit of that Mori sort of like creeping in some of the, the smaller um, text part of the uh, the credits, like unit production or so. The very, the very smaller part of the text rather than the larger text. <laughs> Four two four for a Dolby Stereo four two four Matrix. Um, it's got some of the the backs around in it, like, like when McLean shoots one of the terrorists when he's crawling through the air vent and then kicks kicks the air vent thing in, and then bang bang bang, and then the camera turns around the other angle so it's looking down at the terrorist, and you hear the freaking gun um, his pistol Beretta on the surround channel behind the only difference is when, when I saw this at the, um, the cinema the two different cinemas the Odeon was in the Cinerama screen and had overhead surround that was left over by the Cinerama 70mm day and at Tower Park UCI where it used experimental overhead surround So I might, I'm trying to figure a way to, to wire, um, just simple, take the, the surround left and right channel and combine it onto the, um, to decode the, uh, the Dolby SA-10, um, processor, matrix processing things in the kitchen. So I can, um, switch 
um, the side surrounds off and then recreate the, uh, the UCI experimental overhead surround effect again. Maybe, maybe the Odeon screen, 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 um, screen six, no, screen one. The screen one had six overhead surrounds flush in the ceiling, while the larger screens at UCI had um, eight overhead surrounds. In the smaller screens, they had um, seven overhead surrounds. Cool. Also available. Okay. What, what, what's this? Oh, we've got a trailer. Ooh. Thank you, one oh, Die Hard, Die Hard too. Oh no, Die Hard. Yeah. It's Christmas Eve in LA. But a team of terrorists. You want money? What kind of terrorists are you? Terrorists are you? Terrorists are you? Who said we were terrorists? We were terrorists. <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? Have their own holiday plans. <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? We do it the hard way. But the hard way. We do it the hard way. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? You be gay, mother. Mother. And you have it. They have already killed one. Are you really an American? Well, if New Jersey counts. What does he think he's doing? Good God. Here's the artillery on us. You idiot. It's not the police. It's him. He's an easy guy to like. Welcome to the party, pal. And a hard man to kill. So if you want the theatrical, you know, die hard, die hard. sound mix, uh, go get the laser disc because it's not on DVD and I certainly don't think it will be on the Blu-ray uh, or even the 4K because they're just using the same bloody transfer over and over again. Die hard. <laughs> So if you want the sound effects like in the correct positions to what they were theatrically, uh, particularly with the AC3, wow, that is that is stellar. Is there a, a what's it a test card at the end? Because usually there is sometimes. So uh, uh, nope, got that. Nothing else, I don't think. Oh, there we go. Chase, chase. Channel check. Left channel. Le left channel. Right channel. Right channel. Center channel. My laser disc is skipping a little bit on the laser. I can, I can, I can see it. Center channel. Surround channel. Surround channel. <laughs> There might be a, a little glit, uh, scratch or something on the disc, so otherwise it wouldn't have made that. <laughs> so it's a little minor scratch. Easy to sort of clean, clean up, buff it, sort of thing. Um, but if that were a 4K, uh, that that would have just turned the pixels. But it still tried to carry. It still tried to carry on. Hell, laser disc and uh, stuff 4K. Because it is sometimes it is just a waste of my viewing time. Um, I, I like flashback sort of thing, if you know what I mean. I don't like things that are uh, Atmos, manual mixed with fake overhead surround and all that. You know, like, unless it's a stem track or if it's, t you know, or if they use do it fresh off the bat sort of thing. And um, that's a totally different kettle of fish. Anyway, laser disc. I like this. I like this pressing. Brilliant. 